How did you use media technologies in the construction, research, planning and evaluation stages? For research planning and constructing, I used Blogger, YouTube and a Canon XS145 camera. By using Canon XS145, this technology helped me to give a professional quality to my video as the camera is a point and shoot digital camera with a high resolution of 16 megapixels and 8x zoom. This gave better quality than if I had used an iPhone camera. The zoom allowed me to take close-ups for my trailer. I used Blogger to organise my research, feedback and planning to help me review my work during the construction process. YouTube is a video sharing website and now operates as a Google subsidiary. The site allows users to upload, view and share videos. It's allowed me to connect with my audience as they can use internet technology such as smartphones and tablets to view my work. I used YouTube to research existing horror trailers to link with my audience and genre, seeing what worked well to create mood and feelings. In the construction stage, I used Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, YouTube, Blogger and Windows Movie Maker for the evaluation commentaries. I used Premiere Pro to create my trailer. I didn't have any previous experience with this software, so I had to learn the approaches and special effects through a process of trial and error. For example, inserting transitions, altering lighting, speed, cropping footage and reducing background noise. This made my video look more professional. After playing with the software and exploring the type of effects that I wanted, I managed to change the colour of my footage to a sinister red for the eyes. This effect linked all of my products together for continuity of style and demonstrated a clear link for the audience to identify and promote my product. I used Photoshop to create my auxiliary tasks, which I had more experience of using. Photoshop is an Adobe program that enabled me to use blending tools and layering methods, which allows me to be more creative with all my products. I then uploaded drafts of my trailer to YouTube to allow for feedback and sell to a wider audience. For the evaluation, I have used SlideShare and YouTube. SlideShare is a Web2 based slide hosting service. Users can upload files privately or publicly in file formats such as PDF, PowerPoint and Keynote. These can be used by other people as a resource to assist with any topic they're researching. I've made a Movie Maker video and posted this on YouTube to evaluate my work and uploaded edited versions of my trailer for audience feedback. It provides access for more feedback and can be attached to Blogger with a HTML code. The drafts of my work can be uploaded onto YouTube. The YouTube videos can be attached on Blogger using HTML. This is a standard system for taking text files and creating hyperlinks, taking the audience directly to the content you wish to, them to view, in this case, my trailer.